That serious health scare for reality star Kim Zolciak, hit by a mini stroke after returning home from this week's Dancing with the Stars. ABC's Abby Boudreaux has the story. This morning, reality star Kim Zolciak Bierman says she suffered what she calls a mini stroke, Instagramming this pic from her hospital bed, saying the last 24 hours have been a whirlwind. You guys have a present for me? The Don't Be Tardy star and mother of six says when she got home to Atlanta Wednesday morning after Dancing with the Stars, she suffered a transient ischemic attack, a TIA or a mini stroke, adding the left side of my body went completely numb and my speech was gone. Flying running around with a hectic lifestyle made her more susceptible most likely to a stroke but it didn't cause a stroke neurologist dr. Dolly Roy specializes in strokes but is not Kim's doctor she says TIA's happen when a blood clot blocks blood flow in the brain but unlike an actual stroke the blockage goes away quickly to add full days of dancing onto an already busy schedule three dogs six kids six kids coming at her and saying, Mom, I need this, I need that. It can be really stressful. I need to check my phone for real. This is four missed calls. The 37-year-old revealing she also got Botox only hours before her dance routine on Monday night. But doctors say they can't imagine how that could have anything to do with her illness. Though Dr. Roy says it is possible that wearing a corset, which Kim is famous for doing, may have played a part. Wearing a corset might make breathing harder and might put strain on your heart. No word yet whether Kim will return to the dance floor after a rocky start to the season. She bounced back strong in week two. She wants to compete and she wants to perform. Kim is a big personality and people want to see her on television and she's fun to watch. The outspoken reality star remains in the hospital. She has 100% of her feeling back. Instagramming this pic of her and her husband saying, all that matters, family. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Los Angeles.